Hi, I'm Deborah Silverman. I'm an astrologer, I'm a psychotherapist, and been in practice for over 40 years, and I love studying people. I love studying human nature and the nature of our psyches, and how it is the human condition is so eccentrically fascinating. So we're looking at the elements today. We're gonna to name the four elements. I don't want you to get stuck on just your element. Because your sun sign is one element doesn't mean that you can't relate. Because in a perfect world, you'd relate to all four of these. So let's just start. If your sun sign is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, that's water. If your sun sign is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's air. If your sun sign is Taurus, Virgo, or Cap, that's earth. If your sun sign is Aries, Leo, or Sag, that's fire. Today, we're talking about earth. So the characteristics of people with earth, they're super grounded, they're stable, they're reliable, they're on time, they love spreadsheets, they love Excel spreadsheets, they like doing their taxes, they like going to Costco and buying Windex, a big, big container, and all the paper towels you can imagine. They love being able to put things in order and get things on a deal. Put things in order, know when the party's gonna happen, beginning, middle, and ends. They like doing business, they love watching the bottom line, they love numbers, they have a practical sensibility that comes with them. So wherever they go, they create order. Now, it doesn't mean they're all neat. People get confused. But there is a method to their madness. So they know where the red pen is, the third drawer down just behind those papers. They have an incredible gift for creating order out of chaos, even though they have a tolerance for chaos. They love being responsible. It's instinctual for them. So if they say something, they mean it. Being responsible means following through and making sure what you said you're gonna do. So your word really matters to an earth person. Schedules really matter. Getting to the bus station on time, making sure you get there a little early to the airport, not forgetting what you were supposed to bring in your suitcase, bringing extra things in the suitcase so everybody's taken care of. Making sure that you got the deal on the way in so you're not paying top dollar, but you've got quality control. Noticing when the sales are coming on. Being able to go to the restaurant and finding the most delicious food. Reading the wine bottles and knowing exactly what kind you like being a connoisseur on the things in life that really matter and not understanding people who are superficial or do things cheap. You're like, ew, earth people do not like when people don't follow through. They find them intolerable. What do you mean you're changing your plans? They want the dishwasher, the forks go up, not down, and if you do it wrong, they're like, I'm going to do it myself, and then they'll complain. One of the clues of earth people is, why am I always doing the dishes? Well, you don't like the way we do the dishes. Why are you getting mad at us? So they have a natural tendency to be the teller of what to do, the fixer of anything that's wrong, the organizer of making sure the party's on time, and the judger at the end of the day saying, you know what, this wasn't that good. So they have a constant internal battle of never feeling like they've done enough. They're perfectionists. They have an incredible skill set, but to them it's not that good. So they live with a low grade, you know I'm good, but I'm not that good. I've worked, but I didn't work that hard. And the truth is they are workaholics, they're super goal oriented, and they make a lot of money, but they never think they made enough money, they haven't saved enough money, and you're costing them too much. So their propensity is, how do I be efficient, that's one of their middle names, efficiency, organization, follow through, and responsibility. Because if you say something and you don't know what you're talking about, you're not an authority and you haven't done your research, then don't talk. So there's a certain amount of arrogance that can come with this. There's a certain amount of confidence that you would think was there, but they live with insecurity because they're the perfectionist. So they never really think they've done enough or done a good enough job. And they're really good at telling you, you know what, you probably should have done that a little slower or better. Let me help you with that. So they're the constant person that walks in the house and they want to help you immediately. And when you're something wrong and you want them to fix it or they need to make dinner or they need to do that, they're like, oh, I'll do it. Just be careful you don't complain so much. So if you're an earth sign, if you're in a relationship with someone that's an earth sign or even have a colleague or a friend, you want to look at the elemental compatibility guidebook that's going to help you better connect and communicate with these different signs. So just click in the description to download the guidebook for free.